there were heaps of trees around just trees all over. We were gonna have a problem with solar. It wasn't really gonna work. We were gonna have to find a place with a bit more sun. In the morning, we'll, we'll leave again and we'll find a place with more sun. So I plugged in the, uh, the drill battery to charge, thinking it'll be full in the morning, then we can pack up our site and find a new place where we can settle in for a couple of weeks. Uh, that was a mistake. The drill battery had completely drained the uh, solar battery, like dead, completely dead. So yes, we had a problem. I'd completely drained the battery and I was very tired. I would not really had enough sleep for several days. And uh, I didn't know what to do. So um, I spoke to my ex who is very helpful, my uh, Alexis's dad, and we're still good friends. And um, he, knows, he knows a fair bit about solar and stuff. He helped me set up the whole system and everything. And um, yeah, he told me what had happened with the drill battery and that that was a bad idea. So uh, good to know now. <laughs> and <laughs> lesson learned. And uh, yeah, so then, um, what we did is we traveled into Katoomba to find a J car where I could get a, a, a charger that would charge my lithium solar battery. And um, that was $189 I wasn't expecting to spend. <laughs> that was a bit of a shock. Um, yeah, then, uh, so the only thing to do after that was to find a caravan park where we could set up and I could um, have access to power and I could leave that battery charging overnight. Uh, when we got there, I I set up the kids um, under the, the shade and um, just let them rest there and uh, plugged in the battery, got that started. Apparently, I was I was really not happy because it was it wasn't showing any charge at all. It wasn't taking any charge. It looked like it was completely dead. I looked like it looked like I'd killed it, and I really wasn't happy with that because you know it's an expensive lithium battery, and um, uh, I thought I'd like completely killed it. So uh, anyway, I left them set up while the battery was m maybe charging, maybe not charging. <laughs> And uh, then I went back to the other campsite and pulled down the rest of our tent. I, it's, it's all a bit of a blur because I was so tired and I was so worried that I'd killed my expensive battery and what were we going to do because I didn't have enough money to buy a whole new battery and I didn't um, want to pay that much again um, and I didn't want to have to pay for um, a caravan park, a powered site for the rest of our trip because we were planning to be there for like two weeks. Uh, so, yeah, I got I got the original campsite pulled down, went back to where the kids were. Um, the, the battery, I think at that point, still wasn't showing any sign of um, taking any charge. Um, spoke to my ex again. He then spoke to the people I bought the battery off. Um, they're called Big Way battery or just big way w-e-i and um they were fantastic they sent him pictures and everything of uh what we needed to do he he asked if i just wanted to call them and, and say you know what's happening why isn't this working is it working um how i killed it and and i said look i i really don't think i can do it <laughs> if i ring them and try to talk to them i'm probably just gonna burst into tears um so I asked if he could please talk to them for me and he was great. He was busy working, but uh, he was such a great help. So I was really thankful to have him able to help me there. And he forwarded the pictures and the instructions and we had to sort of take the cover off the battery and pull out the, the little um, uh, BMS and plug it directly in to bypass that and this and that and the other. Eventually, the battery did start taking a charge and um, I was so relieved that I hadn't killed it. I was just so, so relieved. I left it plugged in overnight and um, we all slept in the one tent like we had for the two previous nights um, with the intention that 
cross fingers, the battery would be all good by the morning and then we could find a an alternative campsite where we had a bit more sun. Um, so yeah, it was it was a bit stressful. Just just a teeny bit stressful. Two pretty birdies. I have a feeling this car may have been here for a while. creek down here it's pretty cool um i've been coming down here to uh, get water for washing try not to die going down these stairs check that out how good is that someone's made this little dam in the creek it's gonna last like i don't know an hour or two <laughs> Very industrious. You gonna go for a swim, doggo? You can go, go on. Yeah, good girl. Nice. <laughs> There's this really cute, tiny little uh, fireplace here. Look how little it is. <laughs> It's so cute. It's um, 40 degrees out here. <laughs> like, ridiculously hot. 40 degrees Celsius, that is. Just from a tiny bit of you know water held in your hand 
I'm also going to um, try and stop at a dog groomers and see how much they will charge to shave the dog's butt. <laughs> um, her hair's getting a bit long. She's she's a Maltese cross Shih Tzu. You've possibly seen her already. And um, the hair around her butt's getting a bit long. And uh, I don't want to have to clean dingleberries off her bum when she goes to the toilet. So uh, if we can get her butt shaved, that would be great. I considered bringing the, um, the the clippers that we have for the dog, but um, space was really at a premium this trip with an extra person, so um, I just didn't want to take up the room that might be needed for other things. This trip has been really good, actually, because it's been quite a long trip. It's sort of given me idea an idea of what we need, what we don't need, um, some things that I can leave behind next time, perhaps. Um, and... Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. This has been the longest trip so far. That's it. Trip into town, trip back, hang out for the rest of the evening. And uh, hopefully just relax for another few days before I have to make another trip to the shops. Really nice out here in the morning. It's not super early. It's just after nine. Yeah, the cicadas again. I think every video I've made, it's just got these cicadas like shouting in the background. Ah!